Danger, Will Robinson. Danger! So, hey folks, Glitch here, Mike. As you guessed from that little intro, I'm having issues. Um, of course, I always like to do the uh, the bad with the good for the YouTube videos, because otherwise it's, it doesn't really give a accurate um, insight into the hobby. So, for the last week or so, you can see that since, yeah, about July 4th, so yeah, happy Independence Day. You've got low pH. My pH has just been dropping and dropping and dropping. It's um, now gone up a little bit, so it's sitting on 7.54, which is ridiculous and quite dangerous for the tank. Um, my CO2 scrubber fell in the water, so I've dried that out, put in um, new media, etc, etc, hoping that helps. Um, calcium is sitting at around 500, which I know is a little bit high. Um, my DKH is sitting at around 8.5, I believe. I do need to give that a check this morning, uh, or this afternoon even. Salinity is at um, 0 0.26 as always, 1.026 even. And that's how I like to keep the thang. But, uh, Temperature spikes from, of course, things being really hot, really cold. Overview, pH, no. Temperature, nah. everything else is fine. Everything else is lovely. Even the light is lovely. Uh, yeah, so that, I'm, I'm a bit flummoxed by that, really. I've checked magnesium, that's well within levels. I keep that slightly elevated as well. But uh, yeah, I'll show you the tank and we can see what's happening in there. And welcome back to the main display. Uh, Ripley says hi. Um, yeah, bit of a, a mixed bag with this really. As said, you know, the massive pH swings. Um, for all I know, it could just be the Senai is mucking up, but it has been a gradual decline with the pH, which is always worrying. Um, the Senai chips quite often give false readings for the last couple of days before they need changing, but not this bad, not for the last couple of weeks. It's pretty crazy. Um, it has all been since I've been dosing Vibrant. Whether that's been an issue or not, I don't know. I'm guessing with the breakdown of organics, that could cause more acidity, which would cause a lower pH, but that should be balanced with the calc and things like that being dosed. And with the CO2 scrubber. Uh, the ACANs are all doing fine, they've coloured up. Uh, Zoas slowly starting to colour up. The pest Zoas, I'm going in there with a pair of tweezers in a day or two and just ripping those out. Uh, my lovely Favia, which I need to frag, is doing great. The hammer, my free little hammer. I'm actually going to look into mounting this on the back wall at some point because it's I'd like it to grow and it's looking lonely there and I'd like this to be a centerpiece for my tank so that'll be moving. This guy had pests on it. I have no idea what sort of pests but they were eating away at it so it's had another couple of coral dips and it seems to be slowly bouncing back uh, once it's all fixed, I might take it to the aquarium to live there. My chilli pepper, Montipora, got ripped off the rock and is looking very sad there. Um, lots of the corals have browned out with colouring since dosing Vibrant. Um, but again, that's also the same time as I had to change the light over. So it being an older light, just a Mariglow, I hear they don't do well with SPS, so it could be that for all I know. Who do know? But, uh, yeah. Lobo, doing lovely. My Utter Chaos and Alien Antivenoms both doing great. Dragon Soul Favia doing ace. Random Montipora frag just sitting on the floor. My torch is bouncing back. That needs to be moved up to a higher area with better flow. 
Again, that bit of Montipora that was up on the rock has been pulled down again. Now to the real sadness. This is the sadness. My beautiful Monty. Uh, you can still see the, there's some polyps there that just not coming out and the, the colours really faded. That's been um, since the lighting got changed over and I started dosing Vibrant and the pH started faffing around. Same with my beautiful Jedi mind trick. But this guy, it's slowly getting slight green tinges to it, so I'm hoping I can save that. Uh, the acro, not holding out all that much luck for it. And at the back, the Montes and the, the green Monty Digi that I've had since I opened the tanks that I got at a tiny frag. It's starting to get some colour back, but um, yeah, thanks for showing us there, Ripley. Getting some colour back, but who knows? I, I just have to keep my fingers crossed with everything, really. I have done a 50% water change, and that's done absolutely nothing to the pH. Um, well, it brought it up slightly, and then it dropped down again overnight, so who knows? And I'm getting lots of algae. Lots and lots of algae. Now, on a plus side, the bubble algae is going down ever so slightly, but I'm getting loads more algae. I am using Roifos, uh, GFO, so this is stuff that's meant to get rid of the algae. I've even got algae up there now, and this is after going in yesterday and pulling a load of it out. So I have absolutely no idea what's going on with the tank. I should probably stop dosing anything that I am dosing um, and just give it a day or two just to uh, get some equilibrium back in it, really. I mean, I'm dosing Vibrant as I've been told to do, which is every three to four days. Um, it's one milliliter per 10 gallons of aquarium water. So I'm doing um, two milliliters because after, you know, rock, live rock and things like that, I've probably got about 20 gallons of water in here. But, uh, yeah, so it's it's all a bit of a, a mess at the moment. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd, I'd show the, the bad stuff uh, instead of just, hey, everything's great, because sometimes you, you need to see someone else's tank suffering to uh, make you love yours that little bit more. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I've also stopped smoking, so the last couple of days have been hell, and I've quit Facebook as well. So, um, yeah, if you need me, <laughs> YouTube or Instagram are pretty much the only places you can get me now. Um, yeah, that's it really. Um, if you wanted to leave me a little donation in the, the form of a, a Kofi, a coffee, I'll leave the link in the description down below as well as the usual um, affiliate links to all the things that I use in my tank. If you do get anything, then I get a very, very small percentage um, from that, which of course can go into uh, trying to help rescue the tank, because I'm skint and things aren't looking great at the moment. Um, yeah, and that's the fire alarm going, so I think that's a perfect time for me to say goodbye. So, <laughs> this is Mike the Glitch, signing out.